Hey guys, it's Kristen with Finger Paint Makeup. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to do a smoky eye. As you can see, I have it done on half my face. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so what I'm using is Maybelline makes um, a really easy quad shadow. Um, and I'm using grays. So this is their Velvet Crush. Um, so you'll see there's three grays and more of like a base shadow. Um, and I'm using this for an everyday look because most people think, you know, with a smoky eye that it has to be really dramatic, really dark blacks, that type of thing. Um, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to do a smoky eye for the daytime. And of course you can wear it into evening too. It just depends how heavy you put it on. Um, all right, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I need to do I already have foundation on. I've already put my under eye concealer actually all around my eye. The next thing I'm going to do is use a um, eyeshadow primer. This is huge. This is the one thing that you're going to just be so happy you used because once you've done all the eyeshadow, you want it to last. Um, so what I use is Urban Decay's Shadow Primer. It looks like this and it's really cute little like purple genie looking bottle. Um, I also have it in Sin, which is just like more of a um, shimmery, coppery looking color. Um, but today we're just going to use the purple one, which is just their original, yeah, just like their original color. Um, it comes out pretty translucent for the most part. Um, so what we want to do is take a little bit of that primer, a little bit goes a very long way, and you're just going to put that on your lid all the way up to your brows. And speaking of your brows, you definitely want to make sure that they're neat and tidy because um, once you do this beautiful eyeshadow look and your eyes look great and your eyebrows don't look so hot, it's gonna ruin the whole look. So make sure you pluck or you get your eyebrows done. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is um, take the darkest of the gray shadows. It's this one right here. Um, that's, that's the second step here. So step one was our primer. Step two is taking the darkest gray. I'm gonna use um, this brush here. It's actually um, perfect for this type of look. This is made by Bare Essentials. It's just their tapered eyeshadow brush. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that this brush is clean and take a pretty good amount of that dark gray. Tap a little bit off and what we're gonna do is focus on the outer corner of my eye. So basically from the middle of my lid to the outer corner. Okay, so we're gonna start by kind of drawing that line down the middle of the lid and then just filling it in all the way up to my crease. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. So it's pretty subtle. These shadows don't have a very high pigment level, but um, they work really well. So pretty good for the price. Okay, so I've got that dark shadow in the outer corner. I'm just gonna go back and add a little bit more, kind of focusing on the crease more so than anything. Um, so go back a couple times, adding some more shadow to your brush. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is flip this brush over and you're gonna use the lighter, more shimmery gray right up here. Take a little bit of that. It's a really good contrast against the darkness of the other shadow. So we're gonna use that, the same technique, just focusing on the inner corner of the eye, okay? So pat that on. Go all the way to the middle of your lid. Kind of blending it in a little bit, overlapping that dark shadow. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Next thing we're gonna do is just line as you normally would. So um, I have a black liner that I'm using. You can also use like a dark gray. Um, you can get a little fancy and use like a dark 
plum, anything like that will work. So I'm gonna use this black, just put my liner on like I normally would. Um, and I typically like to focus on the outer corner again, just making that a thicker line and going a little bit thinner as I go closer to the middle of my lid. Um, that's just my own preference. So line as you normally would. And our very last step. This is so easy. Okay, we're just gonna take an eyelash curler and our mascara. So curl your lashes. And we're just gonna put a couple layers of mascara. Um, I like to do it on the top and the bottom lashes. But again, it's your preference and whatever you're comfortable with. So you can just do the top lashes if you have another couple minutes to spare. Um, you can also put it on your bottom lashes. All right. And that's it. We're done. So, um, again, I know I keep saying it's so easy, but really practice helps. So if you have some time, just, um, try doing the dark shadow on the outer corner, the lighter shadow on the inner corner, and really you can use a lot of different combinations of shadow. So um, give it a shot. Try some different colors that you already own. Go to your pharmacy, grab one of these quads, which really makes it super easy um, to figure out what to do. You just take the darker shadow on the outer side, the outer half, more of like a shimmery, lighter color on the inner half, and you're good to go. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.